you enjoy what happened here tonight? I'm always smiling when I fight because it's just so fun. <laughs> I've lost my voice. I don't know why. <laughs> that was um, an impressive performance. How special was it for you to come back here and do that in Brisbane? Yeah, it meant a lot to me, obviously, um, winning the Commonwealth Games here in Queensland four years ago. Um, <laughs> So to get the Commonwealth title back here in my hometown was amazing. I'm very, very grateful to be here. Did have a touch of destiny about it tonight, didn't it? You won your Commonwealth Games gold medal not too far from here. You've won your Commonwealth title. It sort of had to go like this, didn't it? Yeah, I'm a big believer in destiny. I feel like my path's already been written and I'm, I'm just riding the wave. What happens now for you? We'll talk to Eddie Hearn in just a moment. I'm sure he has plans, but what would you like to do? Five fights so far, you've only been a professional boxer for really months. What do you want to do? I want to have one more fight before the end of the year, um, finish the year 6-0 and, and, and start to look at those bigger titles next year. Uh, I want to move fast. I did my apprenticeship in the amateurs and I'm ready to take those big fights. Yeah. Are you ready for a world title shot? Do you think even now or is it in the near future for you? Because I'm sure there are thoughts about that, but uh, do you reckon it's time? Yeah, I feel like I'm moving at the right pace. I feel like I already mix it with the best in the world. I'm, I'm sparring world champions all the time over in the UK and um, my team are moving me at the right pace. We're fighting different styles of opponents. I had an amazing, tough opponent in there tonight uh, in Christina Jacobs, put on a great fight. And um, those are the kind of fights I want to be in. I don't want to be uh, fighting girls that are just showing up for a payday. I want to be fighting girls that are training hard. They're getting in there to win. And um, that's when you're going you're gonna to see exciting fights and good performances. I'll ask Eddie a question in a moment, but uh, do you want to have a word for your friends and family? I'm sure there's plenty of them that are here and they'd be delighted to have seen what happened tonight. A huge thank you to absolutely everyone who came out tonight. Uh, this means the world to me. I'm so glad that I can fight in front of all my Australian supporters. Um, to all you guys who've been getting up at early hours in the morning to watch me when I'm fighting overseas, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate the support and I really hope you guys enjoyed the night. Congratulations and welcome home, Sky Nicholson. Eddie, what do you give that out of 10? It's very solid as always. I mean, you know, maybe a, a sympathy round or two for Christina Jacobs, but it was another shutout performance. And you made a good point, Ben. She's been a pro for seven months. She's 5-0 and now. That was her first 10-round fight, first title fight, Commonwealth Championship. There's still work to do. You're seeing a lot more in the change rooms, in sparring, but she's got a transition into the, to that ring as a professional. She's got all the ability in the world. She's got tremendous boxing IQ. And when she starts doing what she's doing in sparring and in the change room in there, I think she could be unbeatable in a the division. There's still a long way to go. She wants to move as quick as possible. She wants to fight for a world title now, but you've got to get the development right. And there's still many more levels to come from Sky Nicholson. You saw the knockdown, then you've got to step on it, get Christina Jacobs out of there. I know she wanted the, the stoppage tonight, but a good, again, solid 10 round performance, first championship. And Australia have got some great female talents at the moment. And, you know, this is one great fighter who was a tremendous amateur, won Commonwealth Games gold, was an Olympian. You've got a, a fighter here you can get behind and go on and see win world championships in the division. You told her to hold her horses just for a little while there, but what is the plan? What are the movements for Sky Nicholson? Yeah, speak to the team. Look, she, she'd fight every week, every other week if she can. I think try and get out again before the end of the year. I think she's two or three fights away from fighting for a world championship. And it's a tough division. You know, Erica Cruz is our world champion at, with the WBA. Amanda Serrano is the unified champion. That's obviously the big fight in the division. And she'll get there, 100%. She's got all the ability to get there. There's no tearing rush, although she will think there is. But it's about doing it at the right pace, the right time. Ten rounds under the belt tonight. First championship, and on we go. Congratulations to you, Eddie, on finding Sky and giving her a big shot here tonight and a big performance. And congratulations to you, Sky. Fantastic.